1993, I organized with some other people, those people being Craig Rex Perry, who has gone on to work with Disney, and Tim Jackson, who's a cartoonist who does editorial cartoons. We got together and put, to get, put on the um, first Black Age of Comics convention. And the idea of the convention grew, so still giving the convention. When you come to a Black Age convention, the emphasis is on being an independent publisher. We focus on that, we try to celebrate those people who do that. We embrace the mainstream in that we invite mainstream artists and writers to participate and we give them extra attention and love too. It's a smaller venue, okay? We count our, our traffic 500 to 1,500 people. Uh, but people are more dedicated and it caters to a market and a growing interest flow of people who don't find themselves in the mainstream. They don't see the mainstream pro pro products and make a connection. They don't see the characters as being representative of them. And I don't just mean the look of the characters, but the storylines. Superman, Batman, all that, that's referred to when they were started, that's referred to as the golden age. Then when it had its renaissance, after they had to institutionalize the comics code authority because the comics industry was censored, okay, and heavily censored, it's the only creative art form in the United States that was ever legally censored, just shut down. Okay, so that is called the Silver Age. Then when Marvel hit big, they start calling that the Marvel Age. So I'm like, you come this way, you gotta be in the Black Age. So I put two words together, Black and Age. In the mainstream is like um, an aircraft carrier, that it can't make a move unless all systems are go, and then it slowly turns. And the Black Age is like a speedboat. It's moving all over the place all the time, as is the independent movement. As you see, a thousand characters, and maybe five might be, you know, you know, black characters. It's like, well, there's a whole world of people that somebody's forgetting about. Even the people of African descent really weren't making these kinds of characters. And so, speed that up to maybe 1981, 82, um, as far as 86, when I was just seeing these glimpses of people trying to do independent black comic book characters, including Turtle Only, Only's, Only Lee's um, Nog, N-O-G. And then um, the folks from, I believe they were from Boston. They had like Kamet Comics and they had the Numidian Force. All of these different comic books that were out, but they just weren't on a regular basis. And so my thinking was, if we have all these people doing these, you know, very characters across the country, from California to New York, how come there's nothing linking them? And that's how the Xbox piece came to me. I took Black Age from Turtle Only's um, convention, which really was more of like artsy comic, some comics included, but mostly it was about art. And I said, well, there's nothing really that's, that's dealing with comic books per se. So this is the first comic, black comic book convention right here in Philadelphia that we started in 2002. But there are so many artists out. So that's where the money piece is, that you can find folks who do great art, but they don't have anywhere to go outside of the two so-called major comic book companies. What Ekbach has done is brought all of those independent people together that they can at least see each other's work. If you go to other conventions, they might have the black corner somewhere that you might not even see when you go there. Or if you get there, it's just it's just weird. It's, it's like you're in a separate space. If you're all comic writers, why is there a black corner? Xbox has this purpose to provide not a black corner, but a space for people doing work that exemplifies ennobling characters that we will see are of African descent or black characters. So we don't want to be anywhere where they have you in a corner. At Ekbach, every panel is the black panel.
we get a chance to discuss issues that you wouldn't see at the major convention. You know, that speaks to the true spirit of what ECPOC was about. We put together, we came together, look, we tired of that one black panel. We tired of people having to find us. Um, everybody's invited. We say the black panel, we have a, another problem, is that, or we say the black comic convention, we, I've had white people, can white people come? Yes, we find you delicious. You make great hors d'oeuvres. Don't be silly, of course you can come. Okay, blacksuperhero.com. Um, it basically originated from a class project. For my class project, I did a poster, and it was something like the color of superheroes or black superheroes. I remember the title, and then the, uh, it was like an article on black superheroes. And I think that was the first seed of blacksuperhero.com. I know right now there's just fewer than 600 members in the uh, forum right now. What's carrying us now is that there's creators actually coming in and they're logged in, they're registered, and they're out there doing fascinating things. And what that does is it inspires the next guy to either go out and, hey, that idea I had in the back of my head, let me go ahead and work on that. You know, I can do it because this guy's done it. I'm frankly amazed at the number of adults, I mean adults, adults, who told me they've never seen a black comic book, ever. And then I come around with my collection of stuff and they're like stunned. You know, when I talk about the creation of the first black encyclopedia of comics, well, how many could there have been? Well, the last count for myself was 230 some odd, and I'm still counting. If I did entries of just the writers, the, the artists, the illustrators, the cartoonists, the comic creators alone, that, you know, that number just jumps astronomically. So, and who knows who they are? We are the mainstream, and we do a whole bunch of stuff with word usage when folks talk about Marvel and DC as the mainstream. Well. They, it's, that's the Euro stream, but everybody's, everybody's in the mainstream. Asians, Africans, and Europeans. But when you buy into a mindset that says, These, this is the mainstream, you want to be there. 